Hoax or no hoax, the U.S. government took the Helsinki threat seriously. The State Department admits it sent warnings to the FAA and to every U.S. embassy in Europe, but it did not warn U.S. servicemen and decided to say nothing in public. Our focus has been on alerting those who are responsible for security arrangements. We want to alert those people who can do something about the threat. The public was not told about this threat, officials say, because threats like it happen all the time. 106 threats since September, almost one a day. Going public with every threat taken seriously would shut down the airlines. There are so many of them that if you paid attention to all of them, planned your travel accordingly, you would never go anywhere. But if anything, this threat against Pan Am was taken more seriously than most. The Frankfurt airport said it beefed up security when it got the warning. And U.S. Embassy officials in Moscow put up this warning notice, bomb threat, it said, because so many Americans in Moscow fly Pan Am to Frankfurt. We have notified our embassy community here in Moscow. Uh, this is a route that we frequently travel from Moscow, and uh, we notified our people routinely. The troubling question now is, how is the public protected by a warning system designed to help embassies and airlines? Pan Am today said it, too, beefed up security at Frankfurt in response to the Helsinki threat. But there was no public notice of that before and no acknowledgement of the threat last night. Had Pan Am received any kind of threats in the past weeks or months? Of no, sir. Still, it's likely Pan Am was only following an unwritten rule outlined today by the president-elect, that the public should be warned of a terrorist threat only if the threat is precise. If you had hard evidence that a specific flight uh, was going to be threatened or w that the threat could not be contained, clearly you would want to serve the public good by notifying people. The State Department worked hard today to avoid the image that it's been busy protecting diplomats at the expense of the American public. Officials here are insistent that if a public warning were issued for every threat received, any nut with a telephone could cause chaos. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, the State Department.